My name is George Barlow and I teach uh, freshman physical science, AP biology, and biotechnology at East Valley High School in Spokane, Washington. And when you start to develop that, that layer of they call biofilm, what you're getting on the project that I'm working on is called biofouling. It's a sticky situation and biofouling is the attachment of living organisms to the hulls of ships and it ends up costing the Navy an extra quarter of a billion dollars a year in added fuel costs and increased drag to the ships. For a long time people have been trying to figure out a way to stop these organisms from attaching to the hulls of ships. And so they've come up with some really good good ways for doing it, but uh, the problem is a lot of those, the paints that they use on the hulls of ships are also, they're very toxic. So I'm having my students work on some ways to try to figure out non-toxic methods of preventing the biofouling of, of holes. What I want to do is uh, let them realize they have the ability right now to, to start solving some of these problems. Science really should be hands-on. The kids uh, working on things, getting their hands dirty, coming up with their own ideas. Uh, it's not opening a book and answering questions 1 through 12 on page 86. We're growing barnacles. For what, for what purpose? Oh, to uh, we're gonna need see new... like what, isn't it like what type of materials we're gonna need, resist uh, the um, barnacles? So what is it about those materials that you think the barnacles would not attach to? They are very slippery and um, water resistant. All right, let's see what you have. Sorry. Sponge, <laughs> carpet, <laughs> glue, and ibuprofen, and ointment. Um, our experiment is testing how different blood thinners affect how barnacles adhere to new surfaces. All right. Yeah. This is a, a project that is aimed at getting the kids excited about science by giving them a real-world problem. Science isn't this this big, big scary thing that uh, you have to be some elite scientist to solve and it's not just reading and answering questions out of the book but it's just using your mind and using it to the best of your ability and uh, you know, to solve these these problems.